I told you not to do this. You thought you were smart, right? I was telling you not to do this. You wasted such a big amount of money. You don't listen to others. That's the problem. People like you, you are bound to suffer. Handling criticism in the market. How do you handle criticism? Criticism, why? Why, why, why do people criticize? If you're new in the market, the want to be right all the time is very, very strong. It's, it's almost the same scenario with almost all newcomers who enter the market. They almost always want to prove themselves right in front of the others. This happens with everybody. It happened with me. It probably happens with you. It probably happens with each and every individual who enters the market. You think you will take a trade, you'll make a trade and you will make it right the very first go. That's the want, that's the urge that almost every newcomer in the market wants. Now this want, this urge of proving yourself right is so, so strong. It's so strong that sometimes you tend to make a very, very wrong decision. And it doesn't matter if you have taken a wrong decision or a right decision. If you have taken a decision, what forces you, this, this strong urge to prove yourself right is something that forces you to stick to that decision till the end. Did you make a profit out of it? Now, just suppose if that decision that you've taken has gone for a toss, it's, it's gone downwards. You tend to hold on to that trade and you hold on to that trade maybe for a week, for a month, two months, three months in anticipation that this stock would rebound and give you profit. And then you would go out saying, I have made a good trade. Or it also happens the other way. To prove yourself right, you don't make a trade. Now, you don't make a trade. You say that, okay, fine. Uh, to prove yourself right, you might have quoted that this stock is going to fall down. So you did not take a trade. And now that stock has moved up. To justify yourself, you stay away from the stock. Uh, you know, even if it's showing very, very high triggers to push the stock upwards. So you sometimes avoid taking a trade to avoid the consequences of being criticized by your friends. And sometimes you don't even enter the market or miss out on beautiful opportunities that otherwise would have given you huge profits. But it's just that you want to prove yourself that you were right. This stock is going to go down, but, the, but it did not. The fear of your false pride getting bashed out, the fear of your pride getting a hit, the fear of you being ridiculed in front of your friends, the fear of you being criticized, the fear of you being seen down upon. You know, all these things, they come so hard on you that you stop your fingers from making that trade, which otherwise would have given you a very, very positive result. Now, here is the problem. To avoid criticism, you don't take a trade or you don't make a trade or you make a trade and you hold on to it in anticipation that it's going to go up. Unless you continuously start making trades, you would not learn. And if you're not learning, you would not hone your skills. And unless you hone your skills, you will never ma master the markets. You have to accept the criticism. You have to take the feedbacks. You have to listen to the naysayers. You have to take the pinch. You have to take the ridicule that your friends, your relatives, your colleagues, they throw at you. And you have to take all of them with your ears closed, learn the market, trade regularly, make mistakes, learn from the trades again. And then that's the only way you can uplift your skills in this market and start trading in, over, in, in future when time flies, you would probably start taking positive trades. That's the only way. You have to go through all these things. You have to go through criticism. You have to grow through the, you have to go through the ridicules, the feedbacks that people are going to give to you. You have to listen to them, grow through them, and then start taking beautiful trades. See, why taking criticism is very tough. It's very tough because you know, it, it feels like uh, we have done something mistake, some mistake in school. You know, when we do something wrong in school, our teachers scold us. You know, that mindset has carried on till date and it's still within you. You still feel like you've done something very wrong. 
you feel like you have done something wrong morally see it has a psychological effect definitely i understand that uh criticism accepting criticism which is against your uh, action that you have taken in the market is very is very hard to take psychologically you, you you just can't absorb the things that are told to you you know as i said this thing has carried on from our school days where we had only one chance to prove ourselves one examination and the result determined our outcome there was no retake no reexaminations you know no free trial or maybe we 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 didn't have the chance to try again and do it again there was only one chance to prove ourselves and that one chance to prove ourselves stayed with us for so long maybe you know you started school in class 1 kg 1 and it was still you passed out of your college it was so strong for those 15 16 years it stayed with you and it's it still stays with you when you are in the market this is the mindset this is this is why it's very very difficult to uh, to to handle criticism from the market that's why it's very difficult to understand why people are saying things that are against your decision why people are against you why people are ridiculing you why your friends are laughing at you it, it's very difficult to fathom these it's very difficult to uh, sink in these feelings these thoughts those words from your loved ones inside you and still move forward and this takes an effect on you this is the reason why from the very first trade you want to prove others that what you have done is right the decision that you have taken is right so see you have to come out of this school mentality you have to come out of the phase where uh you know you have to think that in this market in this world there is a there is a chance of retake there is a chance where you can do a reexamination yes you would lose a bit maybe but then there is a chance you might be kept behind in your in the stock market of you know a bit but then you can take that opportunity to learn and move on maybe that extra experience would give you a big push so that the next trade or the next possible decision that you take in the stock market is going to be so huge so huge that those that those people who started with you would fall far off far behind you see this is just not the case that you had in school and that's the fear which which inculcated within you for those 10 12 15 years when you were in school college it still stays with you when you are in this market you have to get rid of this fear you have to come out of this this is the only way now what to do how do you how do you handle this criticism how do you uh neglect or maybe how do you take the feedback positively so this is more of like you know me speaking to you uh, in terms of philosophy whatever it is in the market you will face criticism so the first thing that you can do is evaluate the intention of your critic honestly assess his feedback is it constructive or is it destructive consider the suggestion that he has given you or they have given you do not consider the tone in which they have spoken to you so these are very very subtle differences that can help you overcome or you know overpower the criticism or the ridicule that you face in the market now the most important thing don't take criticism personally and don't avoid it too so don't take it personal and don't avoid criticism so when you analyze the criticism when you analyze the ridicules when you analyze the laughs the critics the speech or the you know whatever they have said when you analyze those things you have to filter out people who are giving you constructive feedback and with those people who are giving you destructive feedback and then this is the time you have to distance yourself and segregate the people who are constructive with those who are destructive reduce the interaction with harmful people interact more with people who give you constructive feedbacks even if you don't like their feedback even if you don't like their feedback even if you feel it's very bad it was very harsh it was very uh annoying but still if the feedback is constructive be with them stay with them listen to them and the most important thing start making small trades make small practice trades small with small amounts try and see if you have a dummy terminal and play with false money if if that's possible if it's not possible play with real small amounts lose no problem learn from your losses make the next trade 
taking the information or the learnings from the previous trade accept the criticism that you have got from your friends your relatives consult a training or uh, you know consult a coach who, who can train you well if you don't know if you don't understand something try and follow our channel try and follow other channels learn from people learn from different people combine them together to make some sense know yourself more know where you are going wrong know your strengths your weaknesses the more you know about yourself the more you can take action on yourself and hone your skills and the more you hone your skills the more you can make beautiful and wonderful trades so finally if you can handle the criticism that's in store for you it will be in store for you if you are in the market if you are entering the market this is a high alert warning for you people are going to come after you they are going to ridicule you they are going to hit you down so hard so hard that there will be a time when you will think this market is bad and that's the point where maximum quit and leave the stock market so if you can stick around if you can stay around if you can stick to this market if you can handle the criticism that is in store for you you are going to learn a lot you're going to hone your skills a lot you're going to start making wonderful trades you're going to start taking good decisions but for all of those things to happen these are the road blockers that you have to go through ridicule criticism people laughing at you demeaning you these are these are all these uh, you know road blockers you have to get over all these things before you start trading and taking good decisions day 1 most most probably people will not do this most probably your family will not criticize you but eventually when you start making some losses then they are going to come after you your family your friends and mostly your family your fam- family is going to tell you stay away from the stock market and i i guarantee you if, if your family is not into the stock field if your family is not into the stock market if they they have not understood the stock market if your parents have not understood the stock market they are going to say stay away from the stock market it's up to you whether you really want to stay out or you want to stay in it all depends on how you handle the criticism how you ha- handle the anger coming from your family your friends your parents the biggest difficulty is handling your parents when your parents are not in favor of the stock market and they have a negative notion they have a negative experience earlier that is the most difficult thing that you can ever face in investing so you have to analyze this you have to take it positively and manage your parents we'll discuss about this how do you handle criticism from your parents and still move on in our further uh, lectures and the thing that will definitely come to you is criticism at one point of the other in your trading life in your journey in the, into the stock market this thing is going to come to you and when it comes to you it's you who will have to handle it it's you who will have to face it it's you who will have to overcome it to win in the stock market so stay tuned we'll discuss uh, more such factors and many more mindset games that you need to overcome to be successful in the stock market it's not just criticism it's not just the trading capital it's not just the uh, action plan it's, it's not just anything else there are so many factors so many different factors which play a very important part for you to be in the market or to be outside the market so we'll discuss all of these there are there is a huge list we cannot cover all of them in the same video so stay tuned like and subscribe this channel do visit the playlist i'll put all these videos regarding the stock market mindset that you need to change before you start being successful in the stock market so all these videos will be listed in the, in in that playlist see all the videos in that playlist and you would get a very good idea as to how you can frame your mind before you plunge into the market so even if you are in the market you would probably have to uh, go into the uh, go in there and revisit your thoughts and find out where you are going wrong so stay tuned be with us we'll discuss every aspects of financial planning stock market planning and the mindset that you need to be in the stock market all we'll discuss in our channel till then sc signing off goodbye